what's up guys so it's your girl me on the land welcome back to my channel and we are doing one of my favorite videos today what's in my bag i'm super excited about this video because this bag is just absolutely gorgeous and i had to talk about it so today we're going to be showing y'all or i'm going to be showing y'all what's in my coach tabby quilted tabby 26 um in napa leather this is in the color black obviously like i said this is the size 26 with the brass gold hardware y'all i have been wearing this bag not ever since i got it because i just got the matching wallet um but i actually took it to the store not too long ago I have it wrong way and i got it um hot stamped so it just says mimi with some red lips and then the mimi is in gold if it focuses hold on y'all i'm sorry we're acting up today but yeah so mimi in gold with the red lips and i'm absolutely obsessed with it if you guys don't know when you purchase a coach bag you can get your hang tag, um, hot stamp, monogram, whatever you want to call it, free of charge. So, that's what I did. So, yeah, I'm also going to give you guys mod shots because a lot of the times when I do my what's in my bag videos, a lot of people want to see it hanging off my body for reference. I am 5'6". So, yeah, also the video got a little bit brighter and I hate that because as you guys can see, my hair is now burgundy red so with the lights being so bright it kind of washes out my skin tone and makes me look super pale but we're not gonna let that distract us so and i'm breathing hard because i don't know okay anyways as you can see we have the one flap here um on the back we also have like a little pocket i see a lot of people um put their phones there but I don't really like how it looks with the phone in there. So I'm going to kind of show y'all like this just so y'all can see. Because I know a lot of people, and I am a lot of people, I notice like to see like you go in and out the bag versus me like pulling out and the bag being not in the view. So this is an overview of my bag. Hopefully the lights are not too bright so you have two compartments here and then you have a little compartment here where i just have my work keys so i'm kind of like still playing with the bag because it's fairly new hold on y'all look so bright guys i'm back so i turned the lights down um because i was just looking so washed out and i hated that for me but also the bag was looking washed out too as you guys can see i'm gonna give y'all a better look um my lights are so bright but anyways i was showing y'all this second compartment let me show y'all an overview of my bag now that the bright lights are down so now it just can focus better so anyways back to this little first flap so like i said i had my work keys in there i already took it out um, but you can fit a phone in here. Let me show y'all my phone. So you can just take it and put it like this. But see, I have stuff in the front. So it fits, but closing it can be like a hassle. And I really don't want that. My hair is in my face, y'all. I'm so sorry. Let me push it to the back. So I really don't want it to be a hassle for me and usually i don't really keep my phone in my purse anyway i always like have it on me so i shouldn't have to worry about that so for now i just keep my work keys in there so i don't forget and in this first compartment the first thing i'm gonna take out is my little i'm gonna sit the purse right here it's my little mini mesh makeup pouch I got these from Amazon specifically for this purse because I know I needed a smaller cosmetic pouch. I already have a couple, but none this tiny. So what I have in here is a little mini perfume and I think I have Burberry Her in here. 
I have this little pill case that I keep in every single bag. I just have like some Excedrin, Advil, and ibuprofen. The next thing I have is some dental floss. I always keep floss on me. I prefer the um floss picks, but they won't fit in my purse unless I get like the little travel one from um uh Target or like Walmart. And then I have two no three of the little travel feminine wipes i always keep these on me but i had to get the little travel ones because of how small this purse is or smaller it's not super tiny and then next i have some wet ones i love keeping wet ones on me um at all times because i can be a messy eater and i just love having these on me so i have that in that little mesh compartment so we're still at the front of the bag guys i'm just gonna pull it out that way um because i can't hold it and do it at the same time um next thing we have is some double mint gum this gum is trash i love mint gum and i feel like if you watch my what's in my bags you know this about me but this gum right here is not good it don't last long I don't like it so i won't be rebuying it next thing i have is this envelope um with 30 dollars on it i don't know if y'all can see the 30 but i just started to do the envelope challenge where you save like ten thousand dollars in 100 days by like filling the envelope so i just started started that today i bought my um envelopes today from cvs so i just had this in my purse um the next thing i have is this little elf lip oil and i have this on now these are actually really good for the price i love them yeah um next thing i have is y'all oh my god if y'all have not tried the topicals slick slick soft lip balm y'all have to try it hold on can y'all see i feel like an old school youtuber by putting the hand behind the product because baby this can it she don't be wanting to focus. So yeah, this is the Topicals Lip Balm. I love this lip balm. This lip balm literally lasts all freaking day. I feel like one time I went to work, I put the lip balm on before I even left for work. By the time I went on my break at like 12, my lips were still glossy and hydrated. This is a good lip balm. I have so many lip balms, so many lip oils. I really love this I don't really like I really don't like to do too much with my lips um and I don't do too much with my lips so I appreciate a good lip, lip balm and lip oil I love this lip oil can't really say if it lasts I just love how it feels and I love like the little um blush of color that it gives me but as far as like hydration and keeping my lips from being crusty this lip balm is so freaking amazing like i love it like i said i have so many i have summer fridays all of that this takes the cake i love it so i have those two out and that's one of the not cons it's not a con about the purse i just love keeping everything in a pouch and i don't like having stuff loose so those two items are loose but because everything like sitting next to each other it's not like it falls out, but it kind of bothers me that it's not in my pouch. But anyways, next thing we have is this Rare Beauty hand cream. And I really love like the scent of this hand cream. I love how compact it is. And it's so cool because it opens like that. And I just think that is so freaking innovative. It smells so good. You just squeeze it out like that. As you can see, it's pretty thick. I know a lot of people talk about the L'Occitane hand cream, but this is pretty good and I really love the smell. I like having hand cream on me because um, I put on a lot of hand sanitizer during the day and I don't like have a lotion at my work desk. So just keeping this in my bag for that and also if I forget to put on lotion on my feet, on my hands, I have something. So yes, shout out to Selena for... <laughs> This is rare beauty, beauty hand cream. 
Um, next thing we have in this front compartment, y'all, is this poopery before you go toilet spray. This is in the scent Beach Mom. You already know why I have this. I don't have to tell you, but you know. <laughs> so the next compartment, guys, is this last one here. And I have my keys. That's the first thing. I really love how I organize everything so far in my bag because it's only so much you can do. Um, Like I said, I feel like it has enough space. Obviously, you're not going to get as much space as like how I have with my Terry Hobo because it's just like a big hole. But for like everyday essentials, it's enough space. So I can easily just sit my keys on top of the bag and I'm still able to access my stuff without having to like, you know, do too much. So these are my keys. Show you guys. So I have my key fob with this cute little marble um protector. I have a Hello Kitty key and then I have this cute little my Melody keychain that I got from Five and Below. And then I have a little keychain of my doggy that passed away, Oreo. He is so cute. Y'all miss him so much. But I got that from Etsy. So it's like a reminder that he's always with me on my keychain. And then I got this little, I don't know what to call this material. The actual keychain from Amazon. And so yeah, I actually consolidated my keys i used to have so much stuff on my keys like puffs and all of that so this is such a simple keychain for me um next thing we have in this purse is a hand sanitizer y'all i was going to try to be cute and get the touchland hand sanitizer i don't know if y'all remember in my last video i was like it's kind of overhyped um but i was gonna try to get into the hype and try it i went to target y'all because I had saw that they had a stand for it. All the hand sanitizers were gone. Every single last one of them. Not only that, I forgot that the hand sanitizers were $10. I was so happy that they ran out. Because who had to pay $10 for some hand sanitizer? That is ridiculous. Like, I was like, okay, it's a little bit more compact. I can just throw it in my bag. It's cute. You know what I'm saying? Because I love getting new mini toiletry items and just new things whenever i get a new purse so i was super excited but for ten dollars baby i'll stick to purell so we got a purell hand sanitizer one dollar 199 from any travel section this is in the scent calm and lavender works just as well and i love it <laughs> next thing we have is like a card somebody gave me mary Kay. i'm not gonna show it because it got her personal info Next thing we have are my AirPods. I really love this case. Oh, just some cherries. So freaking cute. And then the last, oh, I'm lying, y'all. I didn't even show y'all. <laughs> I'm tripping. It has this little zipper here where you can put stuff. Um, I don't know. I was going to put my phone in here. Um, but it was just so hard for me to access. Like, I want everything to be easy access without stuffing the bag. So, I will keep my phone on me and maybe, like, later down the line when I start using it more, I can figure out how I can put my phone in the bag. But I'm not really pressed about that. Y'all, I'm back. My camera ran out of storage. I honestly forgot what I was saying. Um, I think I was talking about, like this zipper part that I forgot to show y'all but I do actually have stuff in here so I have a Hello Kitty mirror y'all know I have this mirror with me at all times and then I have a pin this pin is so cute y'all and then I like to keep the pin in there just in case it accidentally opens it doesn't get like over my purse so it's a cute little pin my cousin gave me it's like so extra has little stones on it it's like a little teal color pen so i have that in that little middle compartment so you can do a lot with that you can put your phone in there you can put gum you can kind of just do whatever you want to do with your bag me i can't really decide what i want to do with that portion of the purse 
So I just put the um pen and mirror in there. Okay, the last thing and like one of my favorite things of my purse is this little matching wallet. So this is called the zip around coin case, I think. And this is in the black Napa leather and it's in a quilted material as well. Just going to give you guys a closer look. It is constructed so very well. Um, I love it. I had to get it. I had to. I needed it. I felt like this was not like my first purchase from Coach. But I feel like this was my first ex more expensive bag from Coach. All of my bags that I got from Coach were under $200. So this was the first bag that I got from Coach that was a little bit more on the pricier side. And I was like why not get the matching wallet like why why not so when i saw this i was like i needed it i was going to get the card case but i don't know if it's just me but i feel like i need the hardware on the bag on, on the wallet to match the hardware on the bag so they had a card case with the same quilted but the c was black and i'm like my c is gold like i don't want that so i saw this and i was like this is perfect um Anyways, let's get into the specs of the wallet. So on the back, you have like this little slot to put your main card. So I did that and then you just open it. And for me, look at that zipper. Like people be saying, oh, I don't like it because the zipper. I just want easy access, baby. That zipper, that's butter. Okay. <laughs> so anyways, you have four slots and I wish I could show y'all, but I just don't want to show y'all my information. Maybe I'll show y'all with this card. Okay, so you have the four slots here. I have some change in here. You can fit coins in here. Um, you have a slot here on the back for a card. And then the same on the other side. And then you have these little slots here. But the way the cards just slide in there is so cool. So I'm going to show y'all with this one. Like, Hopefully it don't act up on me on camera. But you just... Hold on trying to do it and show y'all at the same time you just slide it in like that and for me oh i did that so wrong hold on y'all i can't see okay you just slide it in like this yeah like that and it's just so easy for me especially with some for someone with long nails it is so easy for me okay this is better look at that to get my cards out like I can literally just and then put it back in there I don't know if it's given what it's supposed to give and how it makes me feel but I love that because it's so many card cases that I have that yes they're compact they're cute but because of my long nails and even if you don't have long nails because I got my boyfriend a card case from coach and even he can barely pull out his card sometimes because they're just so tight and with this it's like you know your stuff is secure because of the zipper but it's just such it's so easy to just pull the card in and out and because of how the slots on the wallet are you can stack so many cards i don't have that many cards so all this space i love it but i really don't need it but if you did need it, you can fit so many cards. Like I said, I have coins in here. You can fit cash. It's just such a really good wallet. Also, I was telling my vlog this the other day, the structure of this wallet. As you guys can tell, there's nothing in this wallet but two quarters. When I zip this wallet up, it looks like it's something in this wallet. Just because of the way that it's structured. It's like hard. And I really, really love that. And that's something that I noticed with the coach products versus the coach outlet both are good but i feel like with the coach products it's just a little bit more you know something something with the quality because this is my first well this is not my first um coach wallet i have a card case from the actual coach store not the outlet and then i have no two card cases from the actual coach store but i got one from macy's and one from dillard's this one actually came from the coach store um and i just feel like the quality is just very different but i love it it's still it's a little thicker um 
but it's still compact in a way and i feel like even if you don't use it in your coach bag you can use it in any bag because it's black and it just looks so luxe this wallet and this bag just remind me of chanel and this is how it looks side by side if you guys want to know um I, I don't think they made this wallet for this bag i think this wallet already existed but i felt like this was just the perfect pair so yeah that's everything that i keep in my bag you guys and now i'm going to show you guys my shots and how the bag looks on my body bye